The Las Vegas Raiders just found their quarterback of the future in the fourth round of the 2023 NFL Draft. Here's how rookie Aiden O'Connell is already opening eyes through two weeks of the preseason. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Scott Proctor. You, you know the deal by now, right? This is Proctor's point of view. And as always, we love hearing feedback from you all and receiving comments like this one right here. But bruh, the Panthers should start Matt Corral over number one overall pick Bryce Young. You know what? That might actually be a terrible idea. Bryce Young is the face of the Panthers franchise. And the only way he's not under center is because of an injury. And we hope that doesn't happen. But stay tuned to the end of this episode to see if you can guess today's trivia question let me know what's to today's topic how often do nfl quarterbacks drafted in the fourth round pan out since the 2013 nfl draft only one fourth round quarterback has become a perennial starter in household name that's Dak prescott but the las vegas raiders might have found them a fourth round gem at the quarterback position during april's draft aiden o'connell Due for over 9,000 yards and 65 touchdowns across four seasons at Purdue before Las Vegas selected him with the 135th pick of the 2023 NFL Draft. The expectation was that O'Connell would use his rookie season to learn behind veteran quarterback Jimmy Garoppolo, who the Raiders signed to a three-year $67 million deal in March. However, O'Connell might find himself as the Raiders' QB1 sooner rather than later, and his early preseason performances are a big reason why. Shout out to Warren Sharp for these numbers here, but no quarterback is throwing it deeper than O'Connell this preseason thanks to his 11 air yards per attempt. But despite throwing it further than any other quarterback this preseason, he's still completing 72% of his passes through two games. He also ranks first in first down percentage out of 48 qualified quarterbacks and first in touchdown percentage. O'Connell has already shown the ability to create chunk plays with his arm, be poised in the pocket, and operate Josh McDaniel's offense like a wily veteran. He has the arm strength, the touch, and the mental capacity to be a starting quarterback in this league for a long, long time. But how soon will that time come? Jimmy G also looks solid in his Raiders preseason debut, but the injury-prone veteran has played an entire season just once in his nine-year NFL career. And with Brian Hoyer and Chase Garber, the only other quarterbacks on the Raiders roster, McDaniels could make the decision to roll with O'Connell sooner rather than later. That should give Raiders fans plenty of optimism after an offseason full of drama surrounding Josh Jacobs, Devontae Adams, and others. Remember this, if you remember nothing else, Aiden O'Connell will be around for a very long time. But back to today's trivia question, the one I teased at the top. How many Purdue quarterbacks have been drafted in the first round of the NFL draft since 1950? The answer is four. In 1986, Jim Everett went third overall. In 1970, Mike Phipps went third overall. In 67, it was Bob Greasy at the number four pick. And in 1957, Len Dawson was taken fifth overall fun fact here drew Brees, who you might have guessed was actually the first pick of the second round in 2001 but let me know in the comments if you think aiden o'connell should be given a shot to start this season for the raiders and shout out to our guy right here for this comment if you don't know what he's talking about go check out a recent proctor's point of view where i discuss tennessee quarterback joe milton and his dark horse heisman candidacy but that's gonna do it for this episode of ppov I'll see you right back here tomorrow when I discuss another Ricky Y receiver on the verge of starting.